I was wrong. In my last video, I said this. This video won't go viral. And when I say viral, I don't even mean millions or hundreds of thousands of views. Anything over a thousand views is viral for a small channel like mine. So I'm saying this video probably won't even get a thousand views. That video was all about virality and how it's not the best thing to chase. I was right in that it didn't go super viral, but I was wrong in that it got more than a thousand views, which as I said, is still viral for a small channel like mine. The power of reverse psychology in the title, baiting people to click. The best part about all this is that I got some new viewers who are interested in seeing more from me and they are possibly new hardcore fans, we'll see, so I'm really happy about that. That's worth chasing, not virality but attracting hardcore fans. And the last video did a good job of that. As a side note, the ad revenue is absolute shit. I got $2.65 from it. Um, so that means with 20,000 views, I would be earning $26, which is super low. And what I don't understand is this got 2,000 views, right? I had a live stream that got 100 views and that earned me $3.50. So <laughs> someone explained that to me that a 2,000 view video gets less money than a video with 100 views. That is, that is wild. Anyways, I still haven't gotten my check because my first check, I haven't gotten my first $100 from YouTube. You need to build up to 100 Canadian dollars and then they'll send me my first $100. So I haven't reached that point yet, but I'll let you know when I do because that is a celebratory moment. All that aside, there is a valuable lesson that I learned from this video. Make shit you want to make. For the last three months, I've been trying to make high quality videos. I got advice from my mentor, Timmy, who said make the highest quality videos possible and so I started doing these challenge videos and I wasn't having much fun. They were quite challenging and I am glad that I did them because I learned a lot from them in the process of making them but at the same time I was feeling so much pressure and I wasn't enjoying the process nearly as much as I used to. So I think I'm going to go back and revert back to a stage where I'm just gonna make shit that I wanna make. And it doesn't really matter how well they're doing. Instead of building up to a week long or a two to three week long video just for one challenge video, even though I learn a lot, um, I just wanna revert back to making whatever I wanna make, including this video is one of those, right? During my live stream a couple days ago, I got a viewer who said, why don't you make a follow up video to your viral video? And I thought, yeah, that's something that I would like to make. So here I am making this video, even though it's not high quality, it's not even, <laughs> it's, it's not like I spent hours and hours making this video. Um, the previous video I did, I scripted for like four to five, but I scripted for like three, three to four hours and then edited for another three to four hours. So that took a fair bit of effort, but this is really low quality in terms of the effort that I put in and yet it's something I wanna make, so that's why I'm making it and hitting publish. So that's a valuable lesson I learned. Make shit you wanna make. So here's to making shit you wanna make. 1% better every day, baby.